hi guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to operate a BCS or an Expressway server. Since they both use the same image, the procedure is going to be the same. I hope this is useful for you. The very first thing that we need to do is to log into our BCS. This procedure you can use for BCS and for Expressways. It's going to be exactly the same. Something important and that I forgot during the original recording is that you need to go into maintenance, maintenance mode. Why do you need to do this? Because you need to set this to on in order to avoid new calls and registrations. If you are doing this procedure after hours or when no one is registered, this is not required. But it is recommended to do so. I have already done a backup of this BCS server and we can go to maintenance, upgrade. Then we need to choose the file that we are going to be using. As you can see I'm running 853 right now and I'm going to upgrade to 861. For this upgrade I do not require any release key, so we're going to click on upgrade. The upgrade package has been uploaded and you can see the MD5. We can go and continue with the upgrade. We need to reboot the system. You will see the message on the GUI and you will also see the same message on the CLI. Let's go ahead and click Reboot System. The system has finally rebooted. Let's log in. And as you can see in the lower right corner, right now we're running version 861. That was the whole procedure. As you can see, it was quite easy, just as it was to upgrade a telepresence conductor and a telepresence server. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope this was useful for you.